Mm. PJ. Yes. The mic is hot, homie. Well, hello. What's good? The fuck is up? PJ. Yes. What, what you smoking on there, bro? Uh, you know, just a little bit of everything. A little bit of this, <laughs> a little bit of that. Sipping a little of this, a little of that. Feeling a little of this, a little of that. All right, diggable planets. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool like that. <laughs> Cool like that. We got we got multiple spirits in the house. Yes, we do. We got the main spirit over here. Mm-hmm. I don't know it's the only spirit. Yeah, oh. you usually are, but there's another motherfucker in here too. <laughs> <laughs> another <laughs> motherfucker, you, you know, just, just first call your guests of spirits. Pretty much. Oh. Because they only pop around every now and again. I guess one one's about to become not so much a spirit anymore. Yeah. I thought I was special. You are special. Damn. Everybody Good is thing. special. That's what they tell the kids nowadays, right? Yes, they it. Yes, it is. Everybody gets a trophy. You get a trophy. Yeah, I mean, Little shit, kid. I mean, my, my, my Twitter name is there. Okay, we'll call him camera. He'll be the apparition then. Right. Mm. <laughs> That's deep. He ain't Why saying that. No, you know, he gonna, he, he, we could, we gonna call him CJ. That's gonna be his name. Why can't? <laughs> <laughs> it could be the nigga in the chair. That's a long name, though. <laughs> NIC. He's, he's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> nigga in the chair. <laughs> Where's Nick at? Uh, hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, it is one in the morning. Yes, it, it is. is. It's twelve. We're twelve fifty nine a.m. Wow. 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 That's crazy. Yeah. We got Brent. We got PJ. We got the spirit, and we got Nick. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, PJ, guess what? Theme music. There you go. Let's go. Home video hustle. Home video hustle. Home video hustle. Hustle, motherfucking 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 What's going on, everybody? I'm Brent. I'm PJ. And this is the motherfucking home video hustle, bitch. Yes. How hustle, y'all doing? motherfucking hustle. Yeah. PJ. Yes. I was hyped last week. We watched that James Bond shit. Yes. You hyped this week, right? Yes, I am. You tough, right? Yes, so I am. This fucking box. Let them know we watched. Hey, motherfuckers, <laughs> we watched The Equalizer. Starring none other than the greatest to ever do it. Do none it. other than Miss Act. Oh, okay. Who else? I'm what not, else? I don't know. He might have directed the movie, motherfucker. I don't know. Ah. (laughs) See, you fucked up his intro. You you cannot fuck (laughs) up this intro. Okay, okay, okay. Rewind, rewind that shit. (laughs) Okay. Hello, motherfuckers. Today, yeah, it's The Equalizer, starring none other than the man, the legend, the myth, the best to ever do it, and he's black, Denzel Washington. Who's that, PJ? The door. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around. Hey, you know. You, you know what? Yes, yes. Now, so you know the Equalizer is a TV show. This is based off of a old TV show from like the eighties. I did not know that. Yeah, it's a white guy. Ah. Now it's a black guy. Yes, it is. We well, taking over. Better. Damn right. Like DJ Khaled. Ain't that DJ Khaled? Yes, song? it is. We taking over. Wow. Oh, That's I got a story wow. right off the bat because Nick it was there for it. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing. I got this game called Def Jam Rap Store. <laughs> And it's like a karaoke game. And that song is on there. And my cousin Chris used to get hype playing that shit. I think we even talked about this once before a while back. I forget how the words go, but it was like my man, he would start yelling like, we taking over! Like, get super into it. Yes. There's video of that shit upstairs, too, on the PS3 still. Oh, and camera yeah, freestyling. Oh, <laughs> The yeah, Burger King bars. freestyle. Wait, he's Nick. I've seen those videos. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Nick. He's I'm Nick. sorry. Oh. I'm fucking up. He's singing the plot already. <laughs> <laughs> The Equalizer. The Equalizer. 2014. Nice. I swear, I thought this shit was like t- two years ago, Max. I, I did know too. It was 2014. I did too. Time fly, motherfucker. Yes, it does. Two hours and 12 minutes long. How you feel about that? I. Did, did, did you did you feel it? No. Oh, okay. Well, no. A spoiler for your review. <laughs> Rated R as fuck. Yes. PJ, IMDb score, guess. Give me an eight. Lower. Fuck. Give me a six. Higher. Okay, 7.3. Lower. Fuck, seven. 
Higher. Yes, 7.2. Exactly. Yes. 7.2 out of 10. Okay. PJ. 7.2 out of 10. Okay. That's good. I mean, it's okay. higher than I thought it was going to be for like yeah. a little action movie. Motherfuckers getting shot in the neck with right. fucking nail guns. I mean, it's dope though. PJ. Yeah. Yes. It cost between 55 and $73 million to make. Guess how much it made? 200. Lower. Damn. 100. Higher. Yes. 150. Higher. Yes. 170. Higher, baby. Yeah, 180. Higher, baby. 190. Higher, baby. No, 195. Uh, 192.3? Exactly. Ah. So it made a lot of fucking that, money. Yes, which yes. Which is why that there's is a sequel that's out yes, right Yes, now. I cannot wait to view that. Well, actually, probably you ain't going to see it yet. Yeah, I know, right? I just haven't had the time, that's I your guess. your favorite is you went to go see that Roman J. Israel movie where it came yes, out. Yes, I did. That's the only time I would go to the movie theaters. I have see to Denzel? go see. Yes. You know, this is only probably like the fourth Denzel movie I've seen in my life. We have to change The that. Equalizer, Malcolm X, Mo Better Blues, Training Day. You haven't seen American Gangster? Oh, fuck. I forgot. I do. I own it. I forgot. Okay. Yeah, American Gangster. I've seen God. No. Damn. Just throw him out my name. Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. What's the one? The uh, He got game. He got game. He got game. Seen yeah. It nope. Oh. Never seen it. Got the soundtrack. Uh, <laughs> Why you have the soundtrack and I watch because it? Because I like music and I like Public Enemy. What's the uh, <laughs> Man on Fire? Never seen it, but I do own it, though. John Q? Never seen it. Damn. Uh, it's boring. Uh, it's, it's very heart touching. <laughs> exactly. It's, That's why uh, I haven't seen it. Um, the Bone Doctor? Oh, the Bone, Bone Collector. Collector. I've yeah. seen that. My grandma loves that movie. So um, six. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. What other? I haven't seen that? Antoine Fisher. Oh shit. I haven't That's seen. Um, wow. I look boring too. No, you I haven't. Yeah. Seen. Right. It's, it's very very <laughs> deep. It's like a, a remember black the American. Remember the remember Titans. Remember the Titans. Never seen it. Oh. <sighs> Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, like, let's let's pull up the IMDb Denzel. for Denzel. Yeah, I'm just go down the list. I wonder how many I've seen. Never seen Inside, Inside Man. Man. Yeah. That's my shit. Never seen it. Yeah, you gotta watch that's that's a Spike Lee movie too. Yes, it is. My other man. I want to see that. It's Spike you know Denzel. the what's the one he got coming out? Is it already out? Is it the Spike Lee joint? The uh, Clansman. It's funny. Yeah, yeah it's funny. That's, you that's, really you know, that's his Spike son in that movie. That's Denzel Washington's son playing that dude in that movie. You don't say. All right, I got I got Denzel filmography. We about to go okay. through all these. Very first movie he did, Carbon Copy. Never seen. No. It. Uh, Soldier Story. Never yes. seen it. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't expect that. Power. No. Never seen it either. Cry Freedom. Mm -mm. Never seen it. For Queen and Country. Yes. Never Dad. seen it. Yeah. The Mighty Quinn. No. Never seen it. Glory. Yes. Seen bits of it. Fell asleep on it in school. <laughs> More better blues I've seen before. Is I own it. Heart Condition. No. Ricochet. Yes. Mississippi Massage. Tom Hanks, yes. Yes. No, no, no. You talking about the other movie. Oh. Ricochet is him and his dude named John Lithgow and Ice T. So we actually need to watch no. that one day. No, I have not. Mississippi Masala. Yes. Malcolm X, I've seen before. Pelican Brief. No. I've never seen it. Philadelphia is the one with him and Tom Hanks. Yes. Much Ado About Nothing. No. Virtuosity. Yes. We need to watch that one day. Devil in the Blue Dress. Yes. Crimson Tide. No. Preacher's Wife. Yes. <laughs> Courage Under Fire. No. He Got Game. Yes. Fallen. Ah, I've seen the Hurricanes. I did that with uh, yeah, you know, with Pasta. yeah, okay. yes. Bone Collector, I've seen before. Remember the Titans? No, Train Day multiple times. Yes. John Q, no. Yes. Antoine Fisher. Ah, Out of Time, I've seen that before. Out of Time, yes. That. Okay, okay. So what's that like eight now? <coughs> Man on Fire, Inside Man, Deja Vu, The Great Debaters, The Taking of Pelham One Two Three, Unstoppable, The Book of Eli, Ooh. Safe House, Yes, Flight, Yes, Two Guns, no. The Equalizer. Yes. Magnificent Seven. Fences. Yes. And Roman J. Israel Esquire. Yes. And the Equalizer 2. So I've seen like eight. I haven't seen Fences. Is it good? Yeah. It's it's I like, like the play, but it's not. I haven't seen the play. I like the great Huh? Like you like the great debaters? Yeah, the great debaters is the shit. Never seen it. I, see I actually it. took debate because of that, and guess who was the teacher? Your dad? You know ah! it. That was your grade. A C. Oh. Yeah. Wait, your dad was your teacher before? Yeah, He's for 11th and 12th grade. That sucks. I would have had to go to yes. school, same school. I it was my first period, 11th grade, and I was late every day. Hmm. How? On some typical nigga shit. Smoke a blunt before <laughs> school? Like, I don't know. Like, I really didn't care. Oh. Yeah. Shit happened. That's why I was on lockdown. Yeah. Which is why he was very clutch, because he would get me out the house. That's right. Yes. Memories. Parole you out on the weekends and shit. Right. 
Hey, Pops, look, let me just go for a second. So I had to stay over his house one week to get him out the other week. <laughs> yeah, right, it did come Like, out. I had to go to jail one week and then get free <laughs> another week. Yes. Things I do. <sighs> come on, man. Shit. That's some love. Let's just say, if I have kids, and they're coming over, if I want to make sure they're getting an education, I'm going to do something fun. I take them to a fucking conservatory. Or to co sign right, some shit. Cozy. That's the summer shit it. right there. Like, right, that's, that's the shit. fun one. Like, like, the kids are learning, but they don't even realize they're learning because mm-hmm. they're having so much fucking fun. Mm hmm. I agree. It was having so much fucking fun at Kosai. Mm. Kosai is fun. I just went to Kosai for real. For real? Yeah. Oh they be on that little God. bridge with all the lights going around in circles like, oh my God! I can't write the that The fucking no lights! Did you used to go to Kosai? You used to go to Kosai. Yeah. <laughs> it's still there, I'm thinking. You remember the thing that existed with the gravity? Kosai cool. When you get older, it's like, oh man. Yeah, well, you oh, no. spins around and get oh, stuck to the wall? I don't know. I ain't no, the one right where it's like, it was hard to... Get across the room. It was like oh the the the, like a the bridge and it had the swirly shit. That's what I'm talking about. I remember that too. But no, I'm talking about the one that was just a room, and you would walk through it. But it was like the like zero swimming. gravity. Yeah, like it was something. I don't know. It was hard to walk through it. Basically, you couldn't walk in a straight line for some reason. Slowly. Oh, where they like increase the gravity so you felt heavier. I don't know. I can't tell you what it is. Lift your is legs that to the ceiling. Like they did when they walk out, your motherfucking ass falls <laughs> right to some fucking fan blades. Mm. You lose! Good no, day, I love, sir! Mm. I love the, like, travel through time section. Yes. Because that's the only time black people could have safely traveled through mm-hmm. time. <laughs> oh, this was the 60s. <laughs> this was Very the nice. Do like the time haters. <laughs> Go back and just smoke them motherfuckers. <laughs> we came all the way back in time to call you a cracker. Mm. <laughs> what do you think they would do? <laughs> what would happen if we could go back in time and like right their wrongs for them? Beat the shit out of some Yeah. Guys. Well, what do you think they would do? Like we, we would just, just pop up. Like, like oh, black people just went back in time and mobbed on the slave. Man. Yeah, like they would what be like, if what we the? Went back who in the hell? Time and helped Matt Turner and made his his, his like uh, rebellion bigger. Yeah, made if, it better. We better? just went back in time and told them motherfuckers, yo, don't get on that boat. Ah, wow. <laughs> Stop it at what the if source. Like at the source. The guns. <laughs> there you go. Guns. We just give them guns. Like, look, this is how you make the shit. Here you go. Don't let these white people fool you. There you go. <laughs> we need to go back in time to fuck Walt Disney for that song of the South, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. I, showed, I showed Nick yeah, that song right. of the South shit. It's... And he's been mad about it ever since. Yes. <laughs> yes. I told I even told PJ he didn't realize that the Crow and Dumbo was named Jim Crow. That is so. You didn't know that either? That's fucked up. Right? Right? Let me double check this. Right. I could have swore that's what it well, was. This was a we done talked about this for like the last three weeks in a row. <laughs> yes, right? It keeps coming up. The more you know. I mean, look, he made the king of the fucking jungle <laughs> fucking Tarzan white. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, this and is then, true. the only movie about Africa he made the monkey was White Africa. Lions. It was fucking white lion. You know there was no nigga lion. Cliff Edwards as Jim the Crow. Were fucking yes, PJ, proof. His name was Jim Crow. Let's click on it, shall we? Wow. Oh, it just took you to the Jim Crow law page. Ah, uh, you don't so say. So it's like, yeah, there's no disguising that. Wow. Hey, there's a guy here named Mr. Stork. Hey. <laughs> Damn. Oh, well, PJ. Yes. We got to talk about the Equalizer at some point. I, I guess. guess we do. Shit, man. It's your movie, man. Oh, we didn't say this shit right here, though. But it's directed by Antoine Foucault. Mm-hmm. I think that's how you pronounce that shit. Mm-hmm. Guy that did Training Day and a bunch of other shit. Okay. Starring Denzel Washington, Martin's Solkas, I don't fucking know. Chloe Grace Moretz, Bill Pullman, and a bunch of other motherfuckers. I ain't right no more. Okay. Now, PJ, you, remember, you should know how this started, right? Um, okay. I mean, I know the beginning. I don't know. Does it start with him in the coffee shop? or It's like him preparing for his day, cutting his hair, and making coffee or tea or some shit. Oh, before he goes to work. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So, we yeah. find out... That Robert, as he is I, named, I, you got his. I never yes. got his name the whole movie. Yes, Robert. I, did, I just put Denzel on my notes the whole time. <laughs> Robert, he works at some works home at like, lumber. He fucking work at like Lowe's. Or yeah, home Depot. yeah, something like that. You or know, HQ. You remember HQ? Wow. Yeah. With the square. Oh, cool. oh, oh, HQ. Oh shit! Damn. That's oh. So remember, remember, were they green? HQ. Yes, green Lowe's. Wow. It was, HQ. It, it was exactly. We old PG. Ooh. Can we, or Nick, you remember HQ? <laughs> <laughs> you remember HQ, that store? Mm, yeah. Oh, see, wow. PJ, we old, man. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find the logo out. HQ, though, for real. HQ. It was like Lowe's. It was another type. Yeah. Lowe's type, Depot type store. Yes, it uh, was. 
I don't know if they they not here no more. Yeah, right. They somewhere. Massachusetts. Home Quarters Warehouse. Is that what it was called? Yep. It went defunct in 1999, mm-hmm. PJ. God damn. Wow. What the fuck? Has it been that long? Wow. That's, that's, that's crazy we remember that. Man. Under 10 years old. Well, I was, well, like I was under 10. They're, they're, wow. You were three? The logo. Yes. That says 90s right there. I was born late. I was Damn. born late in 95. So wow. In 99. Way back in the year. 1999. <laughs> I was telling somebody, man. I remember in school, the teachers was all bugged out. When it was like September 9th, 1999. So the day was 9999 or whatever. I remember the uh, 666 one. Because we went through 06. <laughs> It was like June 6th Oh, I remember, I remember Yeah, I remember Well, you know people Don't talk about that one as much But I'm talking about yeah. All nines Motherfuckers were bugging uh, Huh? I remember Y2K Yeah, I remember I remember Chris Jericho too That was at church <laughs> That was a wrestling thing <laughs> Yeah, oh <laughs> shit <you're laughs> I remember being Brand at church the world, the world yeah. End of the fucking World Yeah Yeah, that was and, like they were bad. praying too Praying for On like, the bomb <laughs> Man. Man. I remember 9-11. There was tapes of that shit. You could buy like tapes of it to like Y2K prevention techniques. Like basically just go in the fucking basement. What was supposed to happen during Y2K? Oh, it was, um, the computers since it was 1999, all the, the computers were going to go back to zero. And that was going to make all the missiles launch. And then like, like terminate some Skynet shit. Wow. That was, it was really. Like, it was gonna like the, the, like the computers wouldn't know what to do. It was like, oh shit, it's gonna go to all zeros. We're fucked. It's gonna not gonna know what to do. Computers gonna go ape shit. It's gonna shoot missiles and all this shit. And then when that shit hit, it just said, two thousand. <laughs> we got it, guys. And we we that spent all that money on that bullshit. It was like motherfucker. Oh like my that, god. Like backwards, so it's like, why would you think that the fucking world? Because people are dumb. Like, that was because dumb technology shit though. Yeah. I don't know how that shit worked. Technology that was during the that was before the real that swing makes of no it. That sense though. That's still like I swear I what bet the, the computer is like y'all idiots. That shit's not gonna happen. No. Well, the government somewhere like putting their hands together like yeah yes we want you to think this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Little do they Get know. The bombs. In two years, <laughs> no, in one year. <laughs> 1999, two years. What was that? 9/11. Oh yeah, that was two years. Yeah, two thousand one. Two thousand one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, little do they oh, know. It's conspiracy, two years. X Files, shit. Nine ah. eleven. Damn right. Do, 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 do. Like, what is watch it? Me, guys. Mm. Is it Zeitgeist or Zeitgeist? Zeitgeist. I, I thought it was Zeitgeist. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Know. It's maybe. Something. Yes. I've it's never sad. seen it. It's probably Zeitgeist because it's a German name. There you go. And so that's. I've seen right. Kayana Scotsy. What is that? It's a fucking movie about the fuck. I don't know about Earth. I don't know how to explain it. Ah, about Earth. A documentary. Just, like, dude, BBC? Just, dude just filmed a bunch of shit going around the world and filming shit. And they made a like documentary set to music. There's three of them. I would watch that. Bet, with animals? It's a Criterion thing, too. Is it? Yeah. Is it with animals? I, don't, I think it might be animals, right? Ah, it's mm-hmm. Earth and animals. Just the magnificence uh, yeah, of it. Yeah, just the magnificence of life. Ah, that's beautiful. You know I like what that. is a good documentary? What? March of the Penguins. Oh, I've fuck. seen oh, that. Yeah. I have seen that. This is Morgan Freeman talking about some fucking penguins for hey. two hours. Hey, it's deep. You learn a lot. The penguin waddles its ass. Did you know ice. that the male <laughs> takes care of the egg? Mm-hmm. He keeps mm-hmm. it warm. He keeps it warm. Does he shit on it? And they have these, yeah, right? big, <laughs> they have these big herds where they rotate like the positions. Yeah. Yeah. So people get a chance to be inside the Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. That's so. And you know the gay, the gay couples adopt the eggs that are unwanted. There's gay, gay penguins. <laughs> That's sick. Oh. There's gay people in every species of, of living creatures, even plants. There's asexual plants too that are very nice. Yeah, asexual. Wow. There are yeah. like animals who can change their gender, so transgender, like fucking yeah. uh, clownfish. I've always felt oh. like a, what is it, the snapping, the Venus fly trap oh, yeah. is a female. I don't know why, but I feel like if she had, what is that, human I characteristics? I think cartoons they usually do when it's like a cartoon thing, it's like a woman voice. Yeah, like, because her yeah. name is Venus. And Venus is a goddess. I just think because she snaps. Right. She's snappy. Oh, She's bitchy. Venus? Like, I just. Oh, your, your desire? Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. <laughs> I'm your power. Just you're singing commercial desire. jingles now. What the fuck right. are we doing? I'm your fire, your desire. You're, yes, that's it. Fire. I'm your fire, your desire. Your desire. Your desire. You're singing Rick James now? Shit. You know what? You what didn't really like Fire and Desire by Rick James. All right. <laughs> 
And Tina Marie, I'm pretty sure. You know what, guys? We have yeah. not really gotten into this movie. Yeah, PJ never oh. started it for real. I think yeah. I cut him off. <laughs> uh, he's at work. Well, yes, he's back at work. He's yes. Got a, he's, got a, he's fucking with his friend because he's eating a sandwich with some chips on it. Yes, and you find out for some reason this guy holds some power. Don't know why, but he's uh, helping his little friend <laughs> who wants to lose weight in order to become a... Security guard. Yes. I mean, you know how many fat ass security guards I know or yeah. seen in real life? Yeah, right. He'd have been right. That's why hey, I don't. Hey, Nick, how, how, do you, are there actually weight requirements for security guards? Uh, are there weight requirements for security guards? I don't know. Exactly. Okay, wow. that's what I thought. Is there like a running challenge for security guards? <laughs> I don't know. Damn. Run to the back. I mean, some companies might have certain rules. Yeah, I guess. Damn. You ain't got to fucking lose. Yeah, right. What happens at well? Security ain't clearly. chasing nobody anyway. You just, so like National Security and Martin Lawrence, they was like, "You got a belt, record it, so you can call the police." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he um. Okay, he, he so go, that introduces to, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes it's, to like the working the diner man. later, and he does yes. all his little OCD shit. Yes, he's very, very OCD, and he winds up talking to a this, little hooker. Yes, <laughs> don't know, Amelia. Ami- I Amelia, I didn't Amelia. Her either. In my notes, it's just a little hooker. Every ah, time, so. damn. <laughs> I got barely any name. Damn. Well, yes, we're gonna call her Amelia. They just have a quick little combo. Call her hit girl. This is the girl. She played hit girl and kick ass. That's what I kept thinking. Ah. They have a quick little combo about a about book. Books, yeah. The old man on the sea. That basically leads leads nowhere. So it's the next day. It's just showing them developing a yes. relationship. Yes. Character yes. development. As ah, call is that what it yes. is? Ah. Ha ha. Terminology. Yes. For yes, that, that is it. Okay, so it's the next day. Yep. He's back at work. It be, it like in BTA, yeah, there's just a quick scene at work. We're talking about he was one of the pips that hung with Gladys Knight. Yes. And they're watching Soul Train, trying to see if it's him. Yes. And then he's back at the diner again at night. Yes. Him and Girlie talk again, and she gets picked up in a limo by some fat bastard. Yes. She said, oh, smoke. I think she said he's like disgusting, or he's a pig, or he's sloppy. Yes. I don't fucking know. He looked like Jabba the Hutt, get out the car and shit. And then he, yeah, right? Then he pulls up, and he's really a big fat bastard. <laughs> get out the like car, this. fat bastard. <laughs> Oh, that's a reference on the that's Nick the probably That's the Star gives. Wars? Jabba the Jabba Hutt. Hutt. Oh, shit, you remember the Star Wars name? Yes. What? Wow. The Return of the Jedi. He's the big slug motherfucker. I am getting yeah. cultured, guys. Got choked by As Princess much Leia. as I hate it. God damn it. <laughs> it took me a minute, but I got it. That is from the Star Wars movie. You laughed at where your man with Luke Skywalker was just walking up choking motherfuckers with the quickness. He just put his hand out just choking me. Yes. Uh, I looked at him and he was like, ah. <laughs> 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 that's one of the best parts in that whole movie. It's like two seconds long. Yeah, right? And it was in the beginning. But uh, What's next? After that, he's having your boy. He's out there training him with tires, making him lift tires around and help him lose weight. Oh, yeah. The wannabe security guy. Then he go back to the diner. It's like real, real, real repetitive at first. Yes. Like, you do something at work, go to the diner. Go to do something at work, go to the diner. You did something at work, now you're back at the diner again. Is that story development? I guess. Ah. Developing the fuck out of some characters here. Yes. So that you care later on in the movie when niggas get kidnapped. Ah. But girly back at the diner, she beat the fuck up, got bruises and shit on her face. Yes, yes. They talk, he invites her over to the table, they start talking, she's like, hey, I'm a singer, here's my demo tape. Yeah, he says, hey, let me walk you home. Datpiff.com. <laughs> yeah, Bro, check from here. I got $5. You got $5? Here, check out my tape. Oh, Fine. you want to check out my tape? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what's up, bro. Oh, I'm actually taking donations. Oh, you can take the CD back then. <laughs> I'm not paying for this shit. Yeah. I've never paid for You know for how many demo guy. season gotten chucked out the window? Yes. <laughs> yes. I can't remember whose album it was no more. It was, uh, uh, damn. I want to say it was like Gucci Mane CD. My friend had got it off somebody. He just was like, hey, he got so many CDs. He like, fuck it, just give me the new shit. So he gave me like five CDs with that was some like brand new shit. Hot <laughs> shit. And we were playing, we were going to Cat Zingers, the deli spot. And he was rolling up the street with it. And he played a song. He's like, man, this shit whack. He skipped through it, went through like five songs. Man, man this shit is garbage. <laughs> He rolled the window down and flung that bitch out. <laughs> that shit was trash. Oh my god! He got legit pissed off about how whack that CD was. It was funny as hell. I don't even know what album it was. Shit. Well, at least he gave it a chance, I guess. Okay. After you skip through, it's like okay. So Pimp C said in an interview, he said he, somebody asked him about if he buy a mixtape. He said hell yeah. <coughs> so you buy the mixtape, you listen to it. If you like it, then you go buy the real CD. And if it's garbage, you flunk it out the window. Like, oh. <laughs> well. There you go. There you go. Damn right. Yeah, so they walk her home. Is that where we're at? Yeah, I think he's walking her home. Yeah, he's yeah. walking her home, and then the Russians pull up. 
Why did I say it like that? Because you're trying to sound Russian. Yes, I don't know how to sound Russian. You sounded Russian just now. Was that Russian? <laughs> <laughs> you sound better than I could. Uh, so yeah, the Russians pull up and they... Smack the shit out of her. Basically. <laughs> and they tell... Immediate pimp smacks. <laughs> pimp smacks on site. They tell Robert, Robert or Robbie Rob, hey, just Who call this number. Everything will be okay. Game of business card. Yeah, and yeah, I'll get you a better girl or something like that. <laughs> they take her ass. She's gone. Poof. Well, they don't take her ass. They take her ass uh, away. Yeah, they take an ass right there in front of Denzel. That'd be weird. Technically, although <laughs> never mind. That ass. Yeah. That ass. She's supposed to be underage too. That's fucked up. Oh, is that the thing? Yeah, I missed that. I looked in the plot synopsis of Wikipedia while I was watching. I was curious to see she's supposed to be underage. Ah, okay. W- was that? W- was that? The, the white girl? Was that? <laughs> sorry. Was that the wife? The wife? The, yeah. What are you talking about? The, one, the place he went where she's like, he, he didn't ask for, you know, question, come for questions and shit. He what the fuck came for permission. Before oh, he went over there. Was her, who was wife? His wife? Yeah. I think his wife was dead. Ah. That was uh, just like somebody he fucks with or somebody uh, he worked with. And they kept saying the agency or some shit. The fucking X Files division, uh, whatever the hell they worked for. Okay. I <laughs> see. <laughs> to go talk to Scully. <laughs> ah. PJ okay. gets none of that because he don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't. <laughs> I should put the X Files movie in the bag one day, make you watch it, not having seen any of that shit, and see how confused you get. Because <laughs> if we should try it, I think it's in between seasons five and six, <laughs> so you be super fucked. <laughs> and I ain't watched that shit in forever, so I probably would have no answers for you. <laughs> Damn. We should really try that. I'm oh gonna... no, even better than that, I show you the Twin Peaks movie. What is Because even me and fuckers that watched every episode of that show still be confused about that fucking movie. I still do barely need the fuck yeah, What the fuck is. <laughs> so why is this so if niggas don't understand what. Well, nobody liked that movie though either. Ah, I see. Okay. <laughs> That's fucking. I think to the Peaks movie, I think it premiered at Cannes, you know, the big film festival. Yes. And it got booed and shit. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And the director was there. Oh. <laughs> they damn. literally like, fuck all y'all. That's suck all of my dick. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> he got like he got like his voice is well, how would he say he'd be like suck all on my dick you know he would say that's how his voice kind of sound damn <laughs> that would be the best that's all bad Twin Peaks is my shit though I love that goofy ass show damn 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 yeah I'm gonna throw the X-Files in there though there's, not, there's two X-Files movies the second one takes it's on its own thing so you can watch that and be alright <sighs> that first one though that first dealing one. with like the syndicate or whatever the fuck they're called and all this crazy shit see I have to I have to get hit. You got the X Files movie. You, I, you got the tape at your house. It's in that tape box of tapes oh, I gave you. That's... And the first like six episodes are in there too. In that box set I had. How long has that been on for? The X Files was on from ninety three to two thousand two, and then it came back uh, two years ago, and then it came back again last year. Ah, yeah, okay. So there's a demand for it. Yeah, it's comic books, it's video games. What are they called? X Files. No, I mean, what are the people who like like X Files, P H I L E S Files? Oh, <laughs> I see what they did there. Yeah. Wow, that's. Go ahead and say your quote. Go ahead and do your catchphrase. What? Geek, 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 geek. Yeah, that's deep. That's X Files game that takes place in between a couple of different seasons too, and it's a rip off of Resident Evil. Mm. And I like that game. Mm. It's the oh that first was that first oh both games actually take place in between seasons I forgot it's the first Xbox game I got on PS One. There's a scene where because you, you play as some like rookie agent and like Scully got fucked up and she's like laying in bed you gotta like persuade her that you're not like a bad guy and I fucked up the answer she smoked my ass really damn <laughs> I like you damn, damn you Scully that's some shit fucking Scully fucking Scully <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What the fuck happened in the movie after that? What the fuck the last thing we said? Oh. Oh, the girlie in the hospital. Yes. And the chick from Hardcore Henry is there watching over. Yes. That's the movie we got through in the back. Hi, yeah, right. Hi. Hardcore fucking Henry, man. We saw that in the theater, too. Y'all sure you was with me. Yes, with me, I was there. You and Nick. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. We seen it three times. In the theater? Yeah. I only remember seeing it once. We seen it three times. I got all three tickets. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> I probably got one Dedication. Of Hardcore Henry is the shit. Yeah. Man, he need to make another one. Yeah, right? They're probably not going to because good movies don't get sequels. Mm. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, that he, he talks to the other, the Hardcore Henry hooker. 
And she's telling the story about what the fuck happened. She got beat because the dude smacked her. And she did the EPMD thing and smacked him back. Yeah. But then she got her ass pummeled, got thrashed and shit. Mm-hmm. So she in the hospital now. Not literally. Ha, ha, ha. Your man's is in... They just show your boys in, like, deep thought about if he's going to fuck these people <laughs> up or not. Rob, yeah, damn. Damn, Robert. I thought he said Rob Van Dam. I said he wasn't in this movie. No, 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 no. <laughs> Rob. Robert, damn. Eventually, I guess he decides, yeah, I'm going to fuck these motherfuckers up. <laughs> He goes to the Russian club. He gives him what, what was it like ninety eight hundred dollars to try and set her yes, free. Yes. And the dude was like, "Fuck you." Yeah. I but then at first you thought they were going to have a deal. Oh, that's right. Because at first he was like, "Yeah, that's only for a, a month." He says you got to keep coming back, basically. Mm-hmm. And he's mm-hmm. like, "You a medicist? Thing you can come and buy whatever you want to say." He's like, "Fuck you. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here." Or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Your boy goes to the door like he gonna leave it. And he's like, "You know, now fuck this." <laughs> He said he looks around, he's scoping everything. He's like, yeah, it's about 16 seconds. I can fuck all these niggas up. Mm-hmm. So he said to watch for 16 seconds and commits to fucking murder everybody. <laughs> Finally, because yeah. about around this time, I was get, I was itching for the murder. It was taking this a little is, long. Now. We're like an hour in now. No, like that this. fucking long. It took, if it was an hour, I would have been like, fuck this movie. Word. If it, it took that damn that? long. I'd watch it. This is not Punisher Warzone, <sighs> which is better and I'll say that right now wow that for you. yeah right I was about to well 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 but I forget how's he kill he like cuts motherfucker throat my man gets the the, the corkscrew yeah through corkscrew. He, like, he shanks him like five times and puts it through his chin the old boy the gets the, the, yeah somebody gets a yeah. bottle put in their eye now, which is very Punisher Warzone uh-huh. cause in that movie somebody gets a chair leg thing jammed into their eye damn uh, Punisher the, Warzone starts out with a woman getting her neck broke three different times Oh, he grabs her neck, snaps it to the left, crack, snaps it to the right, crack, snaps it to the left, crack, and it pushes her back. Oh, that's actually no. Or is that the second thing? I forget if dude got his head cut first and then he. Oh yeah, he cuts the dude's head off first and completely <laughs> decapitates him in one swipe. Huh. And then he's then he cracks his wife's neck because she tries to I think reach for a gun. And he's oh. like, nope, crack, crack, crack. Ah, done with you. Oh I'm God, need Punisher Wars on the come. Damn, I need that yeah, movie, that has man. to be thrown into the. That's like a twenty out of ten movie. <laughs> Damn. AFI top 100 movie classics. <laughs> Put so, it on the list. The Russian motherfuckers is dead, B. Yeah. Back at work. Homie, his friend got a Pringles bottle or a can or whatever. He's like, yo, what you, I told you about eating all that salty mm-hmm. shit. He's like, yo, look in there, though. Motherfucker, yes. bitch, don't talk your shit. Pulls it out and he has a number. It's like, what was it, like 243? 140. Was it 147? Yeah. something. Oh no, you're right. It would have to be under two fifty. Two forty three. Two forty. Two forty seven. He made wait to become a security yes, guard. Yeah, right. Which, like I said, who the fuck cares? Yeah. You sit at the thing and watch fucking monitors. Yeah, this guy didn't do his job throughout the whole fucking. Yeah, movie. he got shot too. <laughs> Damn. Yes, he did. But after that, little Russian cat. The main Russian boss dude finds out about it, so he sends his little hitman dude to come and he's investigating, trying to see what's popping. He's like, oh yeah, this was done by a professional. Mm. Motherfuckers got corkscrews in their throat, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I want, <laughs> I want cameras from all six blocks. Mm-hmm. Now, the hitman, I forget how somebody tells him, because he's working with a bunch of dirty-ass cops, they go in and holler at this cat at, a, like, a construction site. I don't even know what the fuck happened. Like, why dude didn't, dude didn't tell him what he wanted, so he just commenced to beating the fuck out of him. Hit my man's with, like, a 20-piece. <laughs> and then the other cops smoked the other two dudes in the room, and he just kept beating this motherfucker the Russian dude. Yeah. The yeah. The dude or whatever his name was. Yeah. And the only bad thing, though, your man, he went like the 20, 30 piece, but he was still moving. It's like, damn, all them punch you in, he knock him out, you weak bastard. <laughs> or if you just wanted to fill him. Like, just nah, wanted to fill his like pain. Yeah. He's, I, mean, he's like, I think he like pulled a tooth out his knuckle, too, or something. Yeah. Like I know what that was about. What's up? They were just going to make their rounds to let him know. See who knew what, but then oh, shit got see, hostile. Oh, yeah, that's right. And and the dude was talking fly to him because... I think he told him not to call him like Lil John. Like, yeah, like, Lil Johnny. Like, yes. Of course, you know Lil John. What do I think, PJ? What? Oh, <laughs> I was going to say Robin Hood. What? Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck you talking about now. That's his. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, Robin Hood. Lies the difference between you and I. Robin Hood. It, it, Lil I've never John. seen any Robin Hood movie ever. Wow. Never. Not one. Lit- I'm pretty. The sure only that's thing with Robin Hood in a movie I've seen is fucking Shrek. That's about it. There's a Robin Hood and Shrek. And then he get his ass beat by the princess and Shrek. <laughs> and Nick, don't that happen? Yeah. There you go. Because she did like hit. the Matrix shit. Uh, Remember she did like the split leg thing and then kicked. Wow, it was so. Because they had a fucking musical number, I thought. 
So, it's Shrek a Disney movie it's that you no, like? No, it's not a Disney yeah. movie. It's a DreamWorks movie. And I actually do ah. like Shrek. Ah. I don't know about all them fucking sequels because, fun fact, I went to see Shrek the Third at the movie theater with two of my friends. About 10 minutes into it, I fell asleep. When I woke up, credits was running. So, I don't know what the fuck happened in that movie because it put me to fucking sleep over at the Arena Grand Theater. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn. <laughs> Two minutes in. Oh, two minutes in. That's it. Ten minutes in. Ten minutes. Ten minutes in what? The movie. Oh yeah, Make yeah. Really it was a wrap. Asleep. Damn. Damn. Which everyone had Justin Timberlake doing a voice. That's all I remember. That's three maybe. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Was. Yeah, I, don't I, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my eyelids. I had better dreams than the movie I was watching apparently, because <laughs> that shit was trash. <laughs> Were you fresh off work or was? <laughs> no, I was not even at work. We might even been skipping school that day for all I remember. Like, <laughs> Shit, that's Went to the movie theater and see what was the next thing playing. Shrek 3. I didn't want to see the shit, but I was like, fuck it. I like the first Shrek. I remember Shrek 2 being all right, so I was like, I'm going to see the third one. 10 minutes in, gone. You're done now. Good day, sir. You did that with Transformers 2. Oh, I, I saw Transformers 1 in the theater and hated it. And I saw Transformers 4 in the theater and fucking hated it more. Because that was longer. It was three hours long almost. That was there too, yeah. Damn. Everybody I went with fell asleep at different times. It was me, Cameron, Chris, and ex girlfriend. And it would be one point where I look over Cameron's sleep. Or Nick's sleep. <laughs> and I look over. And because of Chris sleep. And then I'm sleep. And I wake up, look over. Oh, now she's sleep. It's like, God damn, everybody's taking shit and watching this movie. We'll get it. That's we'll just get trash. Just, Transformers damn. movies suck. I like the Transformers Fuck actually. I don't know why. Well, he got I dirty just, looks for me and Nick. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know. It's just something about it. I just, it's the little boy in me that just loves. Oh, 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 I think it's because it's so late. My words just kind of, you know. You've been drinking. There you go. You've been drinking. See. Now I feel like I could what? be Michael Jackson. Oh, ooh. do you watch what you say about Mike? She gonna run down here and beat your right. ass. <laughs> He's like, <"Dur>, dur, dur, <laughs> get the fuck out! Oh shit! <laughs> I'm the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what happened next, PJ? Uh, I don't remember what I said last. <laughs> the Russians got fucked up. <laughs> Oh, the the hitman Russian dude went to go talk to that the the hit hardcore Henry Hooker. What the fuck happened? Oh, the friend he goes back to work and the friend is gone. That yeah, he just made security guard. Now he's gone. Yeah. So he's like, what the fuck happened? He goes to some restaurant. I guess he know his fam work at or own or something. He's working mm-hmm. in there and he's like, yo, there was a fire, so I got help out here. Uh-huh. And they come to find out some dirty ass cops is extorting them the people. And that's why they ain't got no money to fix their shit. There you and they go. put that shit on fire because they didn't pay him. There you go. So your boy Denzel was like, yo, fuck the bullshit. <laughs> Doesn't he follow him out, out mm-hmm. that night or some shit? Mm-hmm. Fucks him up. What's he do? And then, know. what's he do? Yeah, what's he do? Tell the people what they Tell the people what that picture I don't know what he did. Oh, I just God. know he fucks Ain't him this up. Ain't movie? It is. I just know he fucks him up. That's all I it know. Was, uh, he, he tells him something. He like, I got a problem, officers. And he's like, they're like, you know, fuck, you call 911. Yeah. Then they get in the car and he calls them. He calls their personal phones and says something. So they like reverse, yeah. pull the gat out on him and like, yo, fuck you. And I forget how he gets them all. Oh, doesn't he beat them? He beats their yeah, ass somehow. Yes, yes. And it tells them if y'all don't get them motherfuckers their money back and leave them alone, I'm going to send this video that I recorded to y'all extorter to mm-hmm. all the news outlets or some shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this fucker. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So the next day they go take her money back and then they all salty about it and shit. Yeah. Oh, and my next note says hooker investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Is that with the mask? The, the hardcore Henry hooker is when she get choked out. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he, she finally tells the truth about what happened to the fucking hit girl hooker. And she's like, oh, you should not lie to me or somebody chokes her ass out right in front of a window and somebody just watering their grass and I noticed that somebody got fucking murdered behind <laughs> So sad, so sad. And he got the baseball game, and since he got the motherfucking money back for the store, his homie came back, and he's the security guard now, all perped out in the outfit and shit. Yes, yes. Go back to the store, and there's a robbery happening. The girl, he got the dude, got the gun put out on her, hitting under the table, makes her give up all the money. <laughs> then she's like, oh, he's like, I want that ring too. And she's like, nah, this is like, just give him the ring. I'm gonna fuck you up and get it back for you later. Right. And he, he fucks you up and gets it back for her later. Sledgehammer or some shit. He just goes and picks a sledgehammer. He triple H's that shit. Gets a sledgehammer. 
and they only showing fuck you know they just showing she wipes up the, the till or whatever and then the, the ring is in there and yeah. she's like what the fuck and he just wiping the blood off and putting it back on the rack yeah I don't remember exactly what happened but my note now says Denzel and the hitman dude talked they for went the first to go, time uh, oh because he went to his house that's right Oh, that's when he's going to Denzel's yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. He's like uh, purple like the cop. Yeah. And Denzel already knows something up with him, so he fucking with him. Yeah. He's like, hey, aren't you supposed to leave me after the end? He already knew all the questions, basically, that was going to be asked. So he already had an answer off rip. He's like, yeah, go leave me a business card. Yeah. That's all you usually do. Yeah. And then he's like, we'll meet again. And then he went, wind up. He's like, how'd you find me? <sighs> yeah. Who you work for? That's a bunch of shit like that. Then he left. We'll meet again, <laughs> Robert. So he knew he was being watched. Then. Yeah, he knew something was about to pop up, so he goes back in the house. He's setting up traps. He's doing all kind of She's like printing off labels on for pill bottles and mm-hmm. putting cameras in the crib. And he threw some paper in the trash. He only setting up shit because he know they're going to come to his crib eventually. He's doing that James Bond doctor no shit. Yes. So yeah. more elaborate than just putting that piece of hair in between some doors. And right. That's all they had back then in the 60s. Hair and tape. Go to Q branch. He's like, what gadget you got for me, Q? He just pulls his hair out like, just your fucking gadget, bitch. <laughs> you just spit. <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> you... You get nothing, you lose. Good day, Good sir. Good day. Tidy you destroying my shit, Bond. <laughs> also, yeah, you ain't seen Q because he wasn't in Doctor No. He don't come into a Goldfinger. That's the third one? Yeah, that's the one with Pusher. Pusher Galore. There you go. <laughs> yes. Hello, Pusher. <laughs> I can't wait to get to that movie. That's going to be that Must be nice. We're going to have like a counter of how many times Pusher you get set on. <laughs> we should, yes. That'll be hot. I'm telling you, man. Them James Bond. There's a chick named Holly Goodhead. I'm so serious. It's the best, man. That's Moon Record, too. Oh, hmm. uh, what the fuck happens next, man? He sets up the traps. What happens? Oh, they're trying to steal. They're trying to set him up now. They get, they're looking into him. And they pull up his files and dude is like, yo, that's all fake bullshit, bro. That ain't what Denzel doing. He do some crazy shit. He too he too good at what he doing. Yeah, he ain't elaborate. just some motherfucker that work at HQ and shit. Yeah, <laughs> HQ. <laughs> They scoping Damn. him out at the diner. And this is the part you was talking about where they got the dude sitting in there and he's like, yo, where the rest of your people at? Yeah. You want to tell him about it? You remember? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, oh boy, the the Russian hitman. Yeah. One of them comes in there and, you know, he sits down as yeah, if like he's a regular customer. Like he a regular ass dude. Yeah. And he was like, where's the rest of y'all at? Are we waiting for anybody else? And he was like, what are you talking about? He's like, your hands are too smooth to be a fucking construction you ain't worker. You put no work, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. So... So what's popping? Uh, what happens? He doesn't he pulls a gun out on him. He walks yeah, toward him. But a truck winds up coming it, up. It blocks the way so the motherfucker hit man outside. Can't see what's going on. And yeah. He fucks him up with a book. He breaks his yeah. neck with a fucking book. He yes, reads. he does. And then he, he puts a knife blah, blah. inside the outlet and turns all the power off. Mm-hmm. Winds up running, escaping. He walks He walks up to the car with the hitman and he starts taking pictures of the motherfuckers. Yes. Which I was mad because I thought they was going to bust in the spot. And the little cook was gonna come out to get chopped the fuck up with all the lights somehow. <laughs> somehow, some way. What the hell? Uh, Blues. Good day, sir. Day. <laughs> what happened? He 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 escapes from that. They follow his ass. It's like a little chase. Cause they're just fall, they're just like walking down the street with him. He starts taking motherfuckers out. Well, he don't kill nobody. He like beats the fuck out of some dude. And I think he notices that he had a police badge, so now he knows dirty ass cops in Ah, uh, yes, yes. I think he got he got hit or something because him for got cut because after this he go back to his house and he heating up honey and shit on the oven. Ah, he used the honey yes. to cauterize his little wound he got on his leg. And then during this time we see the Russians coming towards his. They're in his house. House, yeah, and they are house. in there, and it's set up so he's in the bathroom. So there's running water, and you think that the Russians, you think that Denzel. Is in his house, but we know he's smarter than that. He's in his little hideout. He's smart, right? Yeah. Niggas so they get tricked every day, bitch. You'll <laughs> <laughs> be all right. It's all right. You're tough, right? Damn. So, yeah, they got tricked. And then finally, the head Russian guy, he was like... He, he realized that. Yeah, shit. it was a trap. So, he wants this guy dead now. Fuck everything else. Done kill this man. And he's investigating him, too. After that's just him investigating the hitman. Then I walked off to go take a piss. And I came back down. He's talking to some old ass white couple about something. You have to tell people what happened there. Cause I don't fucking know. He was talking to Bill Pullman or somebody else. Uh, about the. They were talking about like his wife and shit too. And they were shooting the girl. He was like, oh, he just came here to ask permission or some shit like that. Oh, that's when that was. Yeah. It's oh, like, we can do yeah. this movie quick, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that was that was a lot of equalizing going on. <laughs> 
I do that. That's a quote for the back of the box. <laughs> There's a lot quote. of equalizing. There's a lot of equalizing going on. Hashtag are like, nah, PJ, call me the hustle. Uh, Put that shit on the box. <laughs> Put that shit the on box. the box. Uh, <laughs> basically. Well, that could be two different meanings for that one. Get the box. Get the box. The tauntaun. Ah, yeah. get the box. I see. <laughs> get the box. Yes. <laughs> I think that's more like hit the box ah. or stick the well, box. Day, there you go. Ah, there you All go. this terminology for y'all. Yes. Old ass fucking men talking. <laughs> Who says that anymore? Who says some other way? Let me hit the box. The box. Or the skins. Was that ever really a, the skins? I that's still fuck with the skins. Fuck. Yeah. The box. The that last older. I think that might be like 80s and older. The box. When did twat come about? <laughs> <laughs> You twat? The twat. When did that That's come like about? English shit. That's English slang. Ah. I don't know that came out. That's 70s, maybe. I'm... English. Then let English. me get some of the twat. Fucking England. <laughs> Why are there words? Would you so... like some of my twat, sir? You twat? <laughs> would you like anything, sir? Well, yes, I would like some of the twat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what game was that? What game am I thinking of? Dead or Is it Dead or Alive? Remember, we like, twat! <laughs> It was what? when you do like the little moves, you know how they do the cops and shit. Like, yeah. All that shit. yeah, I think it was dead or alive. I don't remember which character it was, but when they did their little thing, like, he's a twat. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> he's having my brother die. <laughs> the twat. Twat and toast. Yeah, toast. Toast. <laughs> toast. Yeah. Now, the thing me and him used to always laugh at was Soul Calibur 2 because they had like the little verses scream like Kulik versus Ivy or some shit. And, but if you hit the buttons, it makes, it makes different weird ass sound effects. Like, you hit a button and they just go, ah! <laughs> What before the game started or some <laughs> shit? Versus, oh shit! <laughs> someone would do like long ass shit, like some shit like that. Weird. <laughs> Yo, she was like, hmm. <laughs> mm. That sounds like Yoda. <laughs> yeah, Yoda's, Yoda's in Soul Calibur three. You don't four. say. I think it's four, man. Yeah. Wow. There was a thing with Soul Calibur games where each system had their own special character. Cause like the GameCube had Link in Soul Calibur two, the Xbox had Spawn, and that yeah. PS two had Hihachi from Tekken. I know who that is. The boss of the Tekken would do with the little things. Yeah, yeah. The hair, the spiky yeah. hair, and the little the shoes. The shit. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, or the weird ass noise. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm oh, cool. Like break your neck and power bomb you and shit. <laughs> Damn. I wish Good the Tekken times. would be one day. Good times. I tried to find it and You typed in Dead or Alive and Dead or Alive porn videos came up. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of them. <laughs> Dead. Really? Dead or Alive is that movie we watched, remember? Not too, a couple weeks ago, we watched the movie of that. Oh, yes. Yeah, remember I told you that game is popular because that's why they got the extreme beach volleyball. Yeah. Some motherfuckers can get the Jergens. Wow. <laughs> that's deep. Yes, yes, yes. Oh man. What are we talking about? Um equalizing <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, equalizing shit. <laughs> motherfuckers get equalized every day, B. It's nothing. They be all right. <laughs> they tough, tough, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I love paying the fool. Oh, uh, what the fuck did we say the last though? That's uh, oh, we were talking oh, with the old cat. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck happened there? What was that about? So I guess that was you know their agency, as you said, and or that's who knew and could get them the information on all the Russian mobsters. Mm-hmm. And he came back there basically in order to get the intel and then go for permission in order to return to his old ways because he didn't want to fuck he people up. He promised his wife where she died that he wouldn't do that shit. Yeah. Time. Yeah, he didn't want to do it but he had to do oh, it. Oh, she told him about I do remember something now. She was telling him about who the fucking Russians were. Yes. Like the ones he killed and like their leader named Pushkin or some yes. shit like yes. that. Yes, yes. And he... And there was, and a bunch coats. of the corrupt cops was all dead except for the one guy from Stranger Things. I don't know his fucking name. I don't know. The guy he Stranger played the Things. he played the, the sheriff in the Stranger Things TV show on Netflix. Uh, the, the guy that's like the corrupt cop that he puts in the car and shit. Uh, Which is actually the next fucking thing. He, uh, he gives his motherfucker the gas chamber in his garage. Mm-hmm. He got the rubber, he got a rubber hose going from the tailpipe into the car. He got that motherfucker trapped in there. Check motherfucking one. Check one two. <laughs> Shoot a motherfucker down. What a nigga do? Mm-hmm. Did you get that reference? No. That nah, gas chamber by Spice One. Ah. Yep, you know what I'm talking about. Ah. <laughs> but, uh, what is that? David Harbour, that's his name. There you go. I don't know. So he got him in the car. And he's, t- he's telling him, like, dude, he's like, I ain't gonna tell you shit. He's like, all right. And he pushes the button to roll his window up. So you motherfuckers in there choking and hacking. <laughs> rolls the window down. He's like, right, you, you can go. I, I won't say anything. He's like, yeah, fuck you. Put the window back up. <laughs> he does that shit over yes. and over. So I guess eventually he fucks with him because they cussed to them walking into a. Like the, I guess the big trap warehouse. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Lots of like money. He's a cop. And dude is like, nah, fuck you. What do you mean? He's asking a bunch of questions and shit. Mm-hmm. Pulls a gun on Denzel. Denzel flips that shit on him. Aims at his dick. Yes. He's like, yo, you better listen. I understand your you're the man around these parts. And I understand <laughs> if you tell them to lay down, they're going to lay down. So let's gonna try that. down, we're going to lay down. Damn and right. If you lay down, you're going to stay down. There you go. Stay property. <laughs> yeah. It's everywhere. Damn. Beanie Siegel. Real life applications right here. That's right. Rockefeller. <laughs> the Rock. It's The Rock. Oh. <laughs> Besides Jay Z, yeah. who's your favorite person on Rockefeller? <laughs> uh oh. Beanie Siegel? Oh, okay, there you go, I guess. That's the cop out answer. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, <laughs> yeah, like Memphis Bleak? No. Freeway? No. Well, Freeway, he got bars, I guess. Freeway, cool. Yeah. Tough, right? Diplomats. Who? Diplomats. Oh, the Diplomats were on there. That's right. Camera on it now. They're on yeah, rock. They're on rock. Yeah, when they made the song. That's why I think he's been paid in full. Oh, boy, right? and all that. Ah, it's the rock and the. Oh, the Revelations. The bars make sense now. It's the DRP plus the ROC. Yeah. There you go. Oh, shit. Hey, Ma. What's uh, up? Okay. What's good? Or right, whatever. How the fuck that goes? I can't think of how to Me too. Me too. Well, we're going to get it on that. <laughs> all right. Well, wow. good. That's what he said. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Boobies man. real, high heels to be filled. <laughs> oh, that's all I know. Oh, <laughs> like Suzuki and Gucci heels. I don't know if that's what he said. I don't but it rhymes. Either. <laughs> that's some Cameron shit right there. Favorite early two thousands rapper. Favorite early two thousands rapper. Like who was on? Whoever was on top around that time. Who you fuck with? Uh, damn, <laughs> Nelly. Really? Yeah, that was that's the only one I well, can really. Ninety nine, but I'll take it. That, well, I mean that's still Ernest now, nah, man. I get that. Yeah. <coughs> you know who I was saying? Who? Ludacris. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I fucks with Ludacris. That was. The first three albums is the shit. Yes. Yes. Fitty. Fitty. Yeah, Fitty. Yeah, Fitty. Okay. Fitty. Oh, the game. Yeah. yeah, the game too. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people shit like that. Is what I was talking about. Who else was besides them? Who else was? Kanye, I guess, came up around that time. You like Kanye. Eminem. 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 Well, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got Yeah, you can't. When did Fab? Fab is more 90s. F-A-B-O. No, that's about that time. Early 2000s? That time. Yeah. Who cares? Try. Oh, you don't fuck T-I. with Fab? T.I. T-I. Ah, there you go. Shit. Slim Thug. He was trash until he... And he was a hot I mean, that's solo-wise, yeah, I guess that Carter shit. What'd you say? Oh, that was huh? Carter. What the fuck are you <laughs> No, I was wondering why I caught that. I said Slim Thug. Nobody caught it. <laughs> Mike Jones. Ooh. He never came. He was never hot. Paul Wall. Man's not hot. Man's Paul not hot. Wall. Paul Wall. Rich Boy. Wow. Rich Boy was a wonder one. Hurricane Chris. That's my name. Soldier Boy. <laughs> Soldier <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Lil B. <laughs> Damn, that's starting to get like 2006. See, I was saying, that's shit. actually later than what I'm talking about, actually. A couple of those were you know, like DJ Unk. That's all that ringtone era, like yeah. mid two thousand. I was talking about early two thousand. Hmm. Check it out. A chicken noodle soup. I like Ja Rule. Cool ass song. Ja Rule, yeah. Ja Rule was like, nah, yeah, yeah, that's about that time. Like this yep. is nigga said. He said, "I'm mad. Nobody <laughs> ever considers me in the debate for the greatest." Like, I mean, he's good. But I would never think that motherfucker's yeah. the greatest. Somebody said, cut it out, Ja Rule. Nobody's got time Who cares today. what Ja Rule thinks at a time like this? <laughs> <laughs> Please, not today, man. Not today. That's that's funny. We we give you. Okay, we understand. He was hot back then. Yeah. Yeah. He had some hits. He was on tape. Yeah. He was doing movies and everything at yeah. one point. He was doing the Master P thing. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> What's love? So if I say him and Ashanti, that's the... I was oh, no, dynamic that's Joe, duo nigga. right that there. That Fat Joe song I'm thinking of. That's do, right. Yeah, I'm tripping. Do with, that's Fat Joe? Yeah, that's Fat Joe. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's how similar that shit sounded. <laughs> now, here's the damn thing. They had the always on time. That shit. Ah. Uh, yeah. Baby. Yeah. 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 Mystical. Mystical. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Mm-hmm. How we get on music all the time? I don't know. That, that shit just happens. Tangents. We talk hip hop. We don't talk. We like to talk hip hop. <laughs> okay, I got. Ooh. Oh, oh, damn. I just had this. It went out my head too. Okay. Shit, it'll come back. 
When it comes back, we will cut, stop talking about the equalizer for a minute. Shingy or Nelly? Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> 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 Uh, shit. Yeah, I ran out the holiday. That was my shit for some reason. What's the other song you had? Oh, right, Verb. I like the way you Yeah. Did that was on what yeah, NBA the- something? <laughs> I, mean, I believe it. Fucking song with the dude from Lion King, too. Oh, I can't yeah, think of that. Name of it. I know you're talking about. Yeah, one call away. There you go. Ah, right. yes, yes. If you was my baby. <laughs> hey, that was my, that guy can really. I felt he has like the shit. The spirit had me listening to a little bow out earlier. Hey, that's, that's still. I was oh, about to say. Oh, I'm the only one in that. Well, I ain't never that's care for that. And you can't if you if you were from Columbus, you can't fake and act like he. I didn't care. My cousin. Yeah, everybody used to say that shit. Yeah, I know bow wow. Everybody, everybody. But now, look, man. man. Like, yeah. Nobody really cares anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially because Columbus used to, he, he stopped repping Columbus once he blew blues. They're always saying, yeah, yeah. Like, people in Columbus be like, yeah. fuck you. Yeah. I still like him. Yeah, right. she sent me a, she sent me a video. I think it was the puppy level, and she was he was running around with Beyonce's sister in that video. Solange. Yeah. Oh wow. I was like, that is her, ain't it? The puppy love. I remember that song. <laughs> No, I'm thinking about sticking. Just pop it out. <laughs> you had that record too, didn't you? Yes, I did. Oh, fuck. Yes, I did. I know he had it too. I got to ask. I used to hear that shit. There's another record. He's a tape he used to have. I won't say it on mic. Uh-oh. He'd get mad if I say that shit on the mic. Uh-oh. In sync. Close. Backstreet Boys. Close. Oh, shit. Christina Aguilera. Very close. Oh, shit. Who's around that time? That's so Raven? No. You're, uh, you're cool I went now. off. Uh, fuck. Fuck, come fuck, on, Christina fuck. Aguilera was super close, bro. Who who was hey, the other one? Who was Justin, the other one? I think Justin Timberlake. The other one. Come on. The other one. Oh, fuck. I don't What's know. That? I don't know, dude. Oops. Oh, my like gosh. Justin I get it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the Britney Spears tape. The tape. Mm. <laughs> Went to the instant concert, too, motherfucker. <laughs> mm. Mm. I would go see the Backstreet Boys if I could. Back then, I would. What was the, what was the song they had? The, Everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rock your body. They were telling niggas to do shit. Rock your body. That's another song where motherfuckers just demand that you do shit. Rock your body. <laughs> Turn them off. Back your back, back up off the wall. Hey. Dance. Come on. Don't look at me first. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We we don't watch that video. we don't watch the video so many times that that shit pops up on YouTube every time I look on it. That fucking Dennis Edwards don't look any further. You ever seen that? No. He seen it before. You know if you have video if you seen it where he's standing in front of the green screen like it starts with your boy like chewing the gum all hard in the beginning like turns his head and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, we'll show it to you after. This. Hold on, no, where my phone at? Get the phone. <laughs> Where my phone at? Where the fuck is my phone at? Give me a somebody shit, give me a phone. Yeah. Oh, never mind, I got mine. Oh, let's say. Rock yo bye. You know I can't front that Backstreet Boys song. I actually kind of like that one. I don't even know it. You know that song if you hear it. You know that song if you hear it. Bye bye bye. Oh. Oh, I got so sick of that song. B two K. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm good. I don't know. Yeah. Right. No, I'm Damn. good. Man. We, man, it's, it's funny we talk about this. We, me and her talk about all this shit earlier too. Because we was looking at people like I forgot about there was a motherfucker named Sammy. I forgot about yeah. what was that song he had? Asking, asking, I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> the one when he came back out like 2006, 2007, Sammy. Oh, that one, you know that. <sighs> Damn, I yeah, it was Sammy and then your song that fucking braid my hair bullshit. Oh, Mario, yeah, song. yeah, damn, Mario, yeah, like pretty, pretty, they were hot, they were. That was all the girls like that. They were hot for a minute. <laughs> they were hot for a minute. This song came. Oh, let me just find it. Oh shit, it went to on me. Oh, party all the time. Hold on. Hey, hey, what I was looking for. Hold on. That. Oh, that's the music. They have a real music video for that. Oh, I'm trying to find it. Yeah. That shit. Wow. <laughs> I used to watch that shit. What was that about? TRL, homie. That's deep. What was y'all talking about? You was asking me something. You asked me something I completely forgot now. Sammy? No, it was, y'all was talking about B2K and shit. I don't know. Pretty Ricky? Pretty Ricky. Yeah, I said, oh, I said some of that was Pretty girls Ricky, like that. Ricky, Ricky. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I told that story on the show before, but real quick, like I said, we went to D.C. 
all the dudes bought Lil John Crumpton's album, and all the girls bought Pretty Wiki Blue Stars album. That was everybody had that, and I, and I was the only motherfucker that had Karis when I rock him. <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas. Fuck y'all listen to that good shit. <laughs> you know I do like that Crunk Juice album now. What? That's the one the real nigga roll call with Ice Cube. Ah, uh, yes. Motherfuck that nigga. Motherfuck that bitch. <laughs> That's my shit. Damn. Look that song up, y'all. Yeah, right? <laughs> roll call. Oh, my Lil John. <laughs> There's a song on there at the end of that album. It's got Lil John, Ice Cube, T.I., Bun B, Nas, and somebody else, I think. It's called Grand Finale. That shit's hard. Wow. I feel like Lil John is the first <laughs> DJ Khaled. I like him better than DJ Khaled. Do you? Well, Lil John, I don't know. DJ Khaled just seems like he just yelling on tracks. Do he even produce them? I don't think anybody knows his credentials for real. <laughs> I just know he's like, we the best. That's all he do in the song. I don't know what the fuck he does. Another honestly. one. Yeah, another one. Dude, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Since Belly. He was, he was in Belly. Slide, I think. Yeah. Oh. That's where he started out at. Yeah, you can't wow. Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy. That's another early 2000 or late yes, 90s. Yes, it is. What's that? I don't know. Because what this was. Baby, because I'm a thug. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. He had the original 99 problems, too. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't. Well, it came out before Jay Z's version, and it's yeah. better than Jay Z's version. I don't care what I nobody did said. I know that. that. Takes yeah. Out. God damn. Wow. I got big booty. That's bitches. like skating rink music bitches. right there. Cornbread eating ass front of city bitches. <laughs> Ooh, okay, <laughs> Trick Daddy. I love that song. You could, there, was, there was another one that came out. They were like mid 90s. I was 3 6 Mafia. You could, you know? Man. Slop on my knob. Yeah, like, yeah, I remember when that cop. shit took off. Yeah. I remember when that shit took Project off. Project Pat? Yeah. A Ball and MJG? Days. Is this 93? I think yeah, that's the early 90s. Because I think the On Top of the World album came out 95 or 97. Six, wow. seven. Eight by MJG been around for a long time. Yeah. Where the fuck? Where is this movie? I just realized we're supposed to be talking about this yeah, movie. We're doing like a song. supposed to be equalizing now. shit. Okay. Equalizing shit, PJ. We okay. over an hour in and we ain't even finished this shit. Where we at? Uh, I don't remember. I just got, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm about to be in uh, the warehouse. Oh, he, ah. he gas chambered the cop and he. He took over the warehouse because he had the gun pointed at that dude's dick. Yes. He made him give up all the money. Yes. And they he paid him as he let they all the workers go and he gave him a stack each. Yes. Made dude sit there till the cops came, called the cops, told him what happened. The cops came, got all the money, fucked dude minutes up. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Because then he went to the safety deposit box and found a USB port with a bunch of shit on there. I don't know if he checks it yet or not. Mm hmm. He goes to the, the hitman's at the restaurant talking to another hitman. He's like, yo, I'm going to get this shit done. Like, a minute later, that Denzel comes up with that motherfucker's glasses and is like, yeah, he ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah. He's killed every day, B. Yeah, so we're going to discuss this one more time. They all had chances. <laughs> Just be the good guy. You know, stop your business. Be stop running your operations. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's a negative, but all he could do was toss the offer up. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. So, of course, they're going to they keep fucking with him. Yes. And this, this is why he goes home and searches the USB, finds out about the human trafficking shit, and he emails all that shit to the cop, and is like, yo, peep this shit out, make sure you're sitting yes. down when you look at it. Yes. And then he, he finds a picture of a boat. Yeah, and one of the pictures on the USB is a boat that he's in to transfer all these people around. He goes and blows up, not even the boat, the whole fucking dock it looks yes. like. Yes, yes. This is like fucking like Arnold Schwarzenegger level explosions happening in the background, like fucking Predator just set off his bomb in the background. Michael shit. Bay shit. Exactly, yeah, Transformers are fighting in the background. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that whole shit up. But then you, but the hitman dude is in trouble now. His boss or Pushkin dude calls him like, yo, I'm stopping the floor. All your shit right now. You ain't getting nada. You done now. Until you go fuck this motherfucker up. Mm-hmm. So, of course, he's still, he been having people go around take pictures. He noticed that him and the security guard was all tight and everything. So he goes into the fucking store and takes hostages. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So. Man's breaks in. Play some music to distract him. Yes. Dude text the fucking, what's his name? The, the security guard over there, check the shit. Motherfucker's waiting on him. Breaks his fucking neck. Mm hmm. Tells the dude, go get all the hostages out. Yes. That was a throwback. You ain't get that coke, did you? Get the hostages out. It's Van Damme and Street Fighter when he said that. Uh, get the hostages out. When he uh, said that, just like that, with that fucked up accent. No, no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it was a while back. I'll give you that one. Man, that was yeah, last that year. Was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, was. Was it last year? Or early this year? Might be early this year. Might be in like January. Damn. Damn. All right. Pretty much from this point, like once he get the hostage, like he just taking him up. He split or something. Yeah. Like, nah. One by one. One by one. Because all my one. notes now are just kills. Because it literally says, let me see. 
locks doors and sets traps. Mm-hmm. So motherfuckers are locked in there. I got fire extinguisher to the face. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Hostages escape. Bar. He, somebody gets hung with barbed wire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just go through the kills. Huh? <laughs> Somebody gets a big ass knife put through their neck. Mm-hmm. But Denzel gets shot. Mm-hmm. So he's hiding for a minute. Gets his shit fixed. He says a little thing. It's like a what do you call that shit? Blowtorch. Yes. And so the motherfucker's is backing up like, nah, this look like a trap. But when he backs, he backs up into a power drill. Yes. Denzel Washington turns that shit on and drills his ass. Yes. But through like Nick spine. said over there, you gotta have some strong ass force to be able to do what he did. Yes. And I'm telling you, there's a movie called The Driller Killer. We need to watch one day. That scares me. Oh, dude, my next note says Wario killed. <laughs> it's the big dude with the stash. Yes. If any of you are familiar with the Super Mario Brothers, you know Wario. And this dude had the mustache that looked like Wario. And the dude actually put up a fight. He tried to do the splinter cell. He tried to use, like, the little glass shard. But that yeah. shit didn't work. So yeah. they ended up getting into a fight. Denzel dragging his face through fucking broken glass and everything. <laughs> I think something happens where they're both reaching for a knife. One, like, one person reaching for a knife, one person reaching for the glass. Of course, Denzel mm-hmm. gets the first, stabs him in the neck. He gets the, like, the Japanese movie type blood spray. Yes. Have you ever watch those samurai movies where somebody get cut and that shit just starts spraying out like the, a fountain? This shit. Type, yeah, yeah. And then he's the laying there. Guard comes back and helps him. He's like, You told me not to leave anybody behind. Nah. So he comes nice. and helps him. Sound then nice. gets his ass shot. Yeah. And the lights come on. Yes. And I forget how somebody gets blown the fuck up. I don't remember how. I just see. I remember looking up. The, uh, he up. put something when he told him. He said he, you got forty seconds when they split up. Oh, he did. He said you got there. forty seconds. Go switch the lights on because he had like uh, some some explosive something that when it, the microwave some, turned some, some on. Fire shit. Yeah, when the microwave some, turned on, it just boom. <laughs> bam, bam, you're dead. So motherfucking. So it's pretty much only the main bad guy left. Yes. And he's about to pop the guard because he's just sitting there like a dumbass. And then you see a motherfucking like nail shoot past him. <laughs> you guys, Denzel Washington's right. There's like sprinklers on. Mm-hmm. So like Denzel Washington like slow mo walking through rain yes, and shit. The traumatic. With a nail gun looking all dramaticized yes. and shit. And he's popping your mask with a nail gun. <laughs> Until he gets right up on him and puts it to his neck. <laughs> And the dude is looking like, at first he's trying to be tough, but then he starts to look nervous. And he's just like, oh, this motherfucker's really going to shoot me in the neck. And then he shoots him in the neck. And he falls on the ground and is dying. Yes. But like I said, if it was me, I'd have just stood over and make sure he did. Just right, just had a nail gun point around where he was just standing there like, pop, 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 pop. He ate like 20. I would have unloaded all the nails right into the motherfucker's face. To the cartridge. <laughs> just like, oh, you're not coming back. You're done now. Oh, my God. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> so, everything fine now. Mm-hmm. Cut to Moscow three days later. He actually goes and finds the fucking boss dude, the Pushkin dude. He's in the shower. Mm-hmm. So he's like, yo, cover up your baby nuts with this towel. I don't want to see your dick. <laughs> mm-hmm. He tells him, don't get out that shower. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I forget what the fuck he's telling him. He's like, yo, get, quit all that drug dealing shit. It's fucked up. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Then he disappears. Homie gets out the shower and there's a sink running. And he's like, yo, running my water bill up, son. Fuck this shit. But it's too late. Because the water's dripping down and there's some wires loose. Yes. Let's shoot that motherfucker ass. Yes. And there's a Washington's walking out. You see, he done popped everybody. He done did the splinter cell headshot to everybody in the building. Yes. And he goes back home. Castle. And guess who he sees? A little hooker. Oh, shit. He's back and she got books. Yeah. And she's like, I got money and I'm going out of town. <laughs> Give him a kiss on the cheek. It was his money, that 9800 She said yeah, when she, she woke up, that's it right. was there. Yes. Like a rich bitch. 9800 Shit, I'll take 9800 You got to take $98. Yeah, right? It's <laughs> that's a risk. 98 cents? Nah, fuck you. You nah. got shit thrown in your face. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking you fuck peasant. <laughs> How dare you insult me? <laughs> Plunk ass, yeah, bitch. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, the girl he said she go take the money, go off, have a new life, whatever, grow old, whatever. Denzel's like, yeah, sure, go do your thing, hit girl. Mm-hmm. And he goes back home with his groceries. Shit's equalized. Yeah, and that's the end of the movie. That's the end. Oh no, it's not because he goes back home. He starts a Craigslist, like yes. basically a hitman Craigslist. Oh, he's at the diner. Yeah, he's at the yeah. diner on the computer. He's like, yo, you got a problem? Or somebody's like, you got a problem? And somebody's like, hey, I need something. He's like, can you help me? He's like, he just types yes. There you go. I guess that's where two picks up. I guess. I don't know. We shall see. But that's the first one. That's the equalizer. Mm. That shit's done now. Mm. Now as you light up, PJ, take a quick commercial break. All right. Or will we? You'll find out right now. PJ. Yes. (laughs) What you rate the equalizer, homie? 
<sighs> it was great. Was it? Yes. Okay. I love the. You love the. I love the kills. I love the the banter that goes on before the kills and mm-hmm. the, the amount of zero fucks given. I must give it a nine. God damn. That's because Denzel is in it too, and that's my man's. Yes, I am being biased. I don't care. A Fuck nine. you. Yes. What did we do last week? Doctor No. So this is as yes. good as Doctor No. Okay. Yes. Which one you like better, this or Doctor No? This. I had a feeling. Like <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, this is not as good as Dr. No. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. It was all right. It wasn't that hype for me. Oh. Because your man didn't... He killed... When he finally killed, it was great. Like, the last part was wonderful. Motherfuckers uh, getting nail guns to the throat and shit. Yes. I was bored in a couple parts. Uh, it uh, took too long to develop. It's like, man, this shit didn't need to be two hours and 12 minutes, dog. You could at least cut that 12 minutes out, dog. Like, just uh, two, minutes, two hours flat. See, I felt like the story was needed. It was it, though. Well, it was a good story to me. I mean, I mean, if you if you into it, I just wasn't that into it. Ah, I, I want the motherfuckers to die every day, b. <laughs> they just die every other day. So, so after the killings came, it's still because then there'd be po- big points where shit would just be talking, and I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, the banter between the yes, okay, I see. I give it a six. Oh <laughs> shit! Flipping that nine around. <coughs> it was cool. <coughs> so. Like, when it comes to these type of movies, I'm still going to go with Death Wish. Death Wish is better. Oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> Death Wish, the Death Wish 3, remember that shit. So this is slightly above average for you. Yeah, it's all right. It's like, for me, this is a movie like like today when we were cleaning the house. I have it on in the background, not really paying much attention. When somebody get killed, I'm like, oh, <laughs> he got uh, hit in the throat. <laughs> but I probably part. won't like just sit here and just like watch it. Mm. I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. What about you, Nick? What you would give this movie out of 10? Four? Oh. Damn, even lower than me. I'm, well, you the four. Boring as, Boring as hell. Damn. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Rougher than me. Well. What's better, d- Death Wish or this? Punisher Wars on or this? That's why you related to me. <laughs> The bomb. That's the blood right there. That's right. Well, PJ. Yeah, I guess that's only me on this one today. Yeah, the spirits knocked the fuck out. Yeah. So I don't know. She seemed to like it. Though. I'm sure she probably gave it like an eight or so. Hmm. Yeah, right. She was talking to it. Well, PJ, how you feel, man? I feel great. We got two weeks of action in. Yeah, we do. And next week, I think I'm going to be giving something more than a six. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's coming up. Yeah. Uh... Stay tuned. Yeah, definitely. You want to? Yes, if y'all mother like people, like hit me up. I do. We put out Doctor No, and everybody loved it because I was so hyped in that movie. I was so excited. Mm-hmm. Well, next week is going to probably be just as fucking hype. Probably a hyper. movie I've been wanting to get to for a long time. Not the exact one I want to get to, but one of the ones. Did it's we name drop episode. it in this? Probably. Ah. Probably several times. I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming. Okay. Not in your pants, homie. Ha ha ha! See what you did there, PJ. Yes. You want them to follow us? You think they should follow us? I think y'all should follow should us. Follow. I think we're good enough. You want to follow us? Hit up on the Twitter at capital H, capital V, capital H, capital P, lowercase I cast. Yes. PJ, capital yes. P, lowercase A U L Y, capital P, lowercase J. Yes. Follow PJ. Spirit is at the Spirit ninety five. <laughs> yes. I don't know what the fuck Nick is doing. He ain't saying nothing. You got Twitter? You want to follow me on Twitter? No Twitter. No Twitter. Hell no. Nah. On Instagram, then. We are Home Video Hustle Podcast. Type yes. that shit in the search bar. I'll show your ass we're going to be there. Yes. Facebook.com slash HVH Podcast. We on there, too. And what's up? Oh, YouTube. New videos every Wednesday. If you want to know what we're going to talk about on Friday, watch the fucking video on Wednesday. And that is that. I don't know. Just type in the search bar. We'll pop up. Yes. Fuck it. I don't know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Red Bubble. If you want our face on your shirt or your coffee mug or your backpack or your blanket, or your panties. I don't know where the fuck you want to put our face on. <laughs> Go to redbubble.com. I don't know. It might be HVH Podcast. Or just type HVH Podcast in the search bar. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. We're always there. Agerradio.org slash Home Video Hustle. That's yes. the new home site. Yes, New podcast is. network. Yes. Check out all the other shows, too. Fuck it. Why are you there? Might as well. You're already there. Might as well, right? I mean, check us out first. Because we, we the shit. <laughs> right. But you can check them out when you're done. When you're <laughs> the done, hustle right? comes strong That's here. That's right. When you're done now, you can go to something. <laughs> Dude, we're done now. Okay. <laughs> we release you from our presence. Be gone. <laughs> Cancel that bitch. <laughs> give me no one. <laughs> we're just kidding. Yes. We <laughs> love you. We're kidding. From the hearts. <laughs> oh, PJ. Yes. Oh, I just thought of one. Um, on, <laughs> oh, that's gonna. Well, I don't know what you picked, but I was like, Lupe Fiasco or oh, Kanye shit. West. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know that's a tough one for you. Easy for me, but tough for you. 
And this is like kick push and all that shit. During that time? Yeah, I mean, just Lupe in general, but I'm just saying you remember that. that that's the shit that I remember you love. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Ye. Ugh. I'm going to have to go with Really? Ye. The college dropout. Like the Nick graduate, too, everything huh? before 808s and Heartbreak. Everything before that. Yeah. Everybody always before. says that. Everybody says the day the way it's a heartbreak album is where he started to fall off. Yeah. I but you know. see that, that one of his albums just passed a billion streams or some His new one. That, it was that beautiful twisted fantasy. The, oh, beautiful dark twisted yeah, I fantasy. I seen the thing where somebody it surpassed some big number. No. Oh. He hit number one for that song. He's talking about Scoop Poop too. Poopity Scoop. Did he? he got number one for that? I just saw how dumb people are. Man. Who is playing this shit? Like how? Not us. I know that. Everything can't be number one now. Cameron hit me to a new guy. I should listen to his album. This dude guy named Payroll Giovanni. You ever heard of him? I've heard of him. I have Cameron not really. played this album. I listened to his album one day. Where it's actually pretty cool. <sighs> he uses a lot of like down south and like old west coast samples. Like it starts out the first song he's using Quick's groove, the DJ Quick's instrumental from his first album. Hmm. He's rapping over. Hmm. Then he does a, he remix a Sugar Free like uh, A Z did, oh. but he raps over. I actually I have to admit I kind of like his better than A Z's. So, oh, yeah. it's the baseline in the other one. I gotta hear. It. The AZ one's more laid hear back. The, well, the payroll Giovanni one is more like like uh, trap music sounding, so it's okay. like more heavy bass. So I, I gotta like that hear one. that shit then. Okay. Yeah, I play it in the car when I take you home. Okay. Well, nigga in the chair, you got anything to add to the show? You good? You done now? All right. <laughs> PJ, anything else to add? I'm done now. You done now? I think I'm done now too. So I'm gonna tell you. Be gone. Do not that. <laughs> you know they. Poof. They gonna have. Vamoosh. We don't want you. We're done. Damn. You're done. Damn, PJ. Hard stance. I'm sorry. Equalizing our fan base and yeah, shit. Yeah, right. Let's <laughs> kill them off now. But just kidding, guys. But we just gonna let you know then. Since we're all done now, we'll yes. let you know that I'm Brent. And I'm PJ. Have a good rest of your Friday. Yes. Have a good rest of whatever the fuck day you're listening to this on. Yes. It's your best life. Go listen to some fucking hip hop. Yes. I don't care if you don't like it. Listen to it anyway, motherfucker. Get hip. And then do the hop. Damn right. Yeah, it's Charcoal Plus reference. Ha, 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 girl, it's got that out one. there. Nobody got gets that one. <laughs> Bump some Trey Voorhees. Yes. Saturday 6th, I'll go buy that shit. Mm-hmm. If you like our theme music, then guess what? That's the motherfucker that made it, so go buy his shit. There you go. Come back next week, though, for real, because it's going to be hype. Ooh, it boy. might be Dr. No level hype for real, because it's another movie. Another movie. I think it's going to surpass that. Oh, it might, man. It might. Thank it's definitely going to be what, PJ? Geek, 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 geek. <laughs> Sure, I got mad knowledge on this shit. Oh, shit. I think I do. It's been a while. I'm rusty. I'm about to read some shit. Okay. (laughs) So until next time, peace. Peace. you to enjoy every minute of your stay here listen to me please listen if you don't if you won't if you fail to understand then the same incredible terror that's menacing me will strike at you are you ready to enter the sci-fi double feature drive-in every month we hold a special double feature with a very interesting theme thought up by your host the conspiracy loving elisa and yours truly jared the kaiju man Wegelin. we discuss giant monsters little monsters genetic abominations robots gone awry aliens coming to earth cryptids and anything in between so join us at the sci-fi double feature drive-in podcast every first and third thursday of the month and don't forget to stop by our snack bar first.